Hey, what is up guys? Johnny here. Did they just nerf the drop rate or what? It is crazy, guys. I want to talk about the drop rate today because it's the hot topic of the day. Since the last 12 hours is the only thing I see everywhere. Read the Facebook group. It is all a bunch of screenshots of people getting all blue items. And sometimes one in the group will get one purple. And uh, yesterday on stream, we've been playing three hours straight. We did a lot of Voltaic Fist. And Voltaic Fist was also nerfed. I had some comments on my live stream. Some people have been playing Silver Arena and they got all blues. And Hive Mine, I seen a screenshot on Facebook. The whole squad of three had only blues and one guy had a purple. So I want to compare, like, it felt like it was a nerf. And I'm pretty sure you guys will agree the drop rates have been nerfed. Why? I don't know. It is. Um, I can't think about a reason and I'll tell you guys but if you compare the drop rates to what they used to be when the game was launched because I don't know if you guys have been playing for a long time but I've been playing from day one of the global release okay so when I started playing and I know a lot of you guys will remember I played 110 voltaic fist and it was always greens and blues okay I never or almost never had purples and I did say about in about a, a hundred runs on Voltaic Fist I remember before the previous buff I had like two purples in about a hundred run so I, I used to see like one purple every 50 runs and how many purples do you need before you finally get a legendary right it felt like it was impossible you would never have a legendary in Voltaic Fist before and after a couple of weeks, I've been grinding hard for weeks. I remember on a Friday, they buffed the drop rates with a, they had a, a little patch or a small, uh, small update. It was not a big update, but it was in April and they buffed the drop rates. And then boom, all of a sudden, we finally start dropping legendaries. A bunch of legendaries have not even been discovered yet before that buff, right? So I know you guys will remember that is when we finally saw the first Nico Stopper in Blade Dancer. Before that, nobody ever saw it. Uh, same thing for the Mew Chaser. Nobody ever got a Mew Chaser before that buff. So drop rate was so bad that you could not even dream of having a Legendary. Same thing for Mother's Promise. Maybe one or two guys had Mother's Promise before. So then they buffed the drop rate a little bit. Well, pretty good, I guess. So much that you finally start seeing a bunch of purples in Voltaic Fist. You were getting some greens, uh, much more blues. And not every run, but almost every run, you would get a purple. And sometimes two purple in Voltaic Fist. That was pretty good. So now, from then, you start getting legendaries, okay? So three days ago, they released the new Brothers of Fire update. Uh, I don't know if they touched the drop rate on the old dungeons because everyone was just playing the new dungeon, the Hive Mine. And on the day of release, me and two friends, we grinded. Uh, and you guys saw the stream. I will post it uh, in the description. We played seven hours and a half straight. Right at the start of the stream, I got the Plasma Blaster Legendary. And... My friends, it seems like in three runs, we all had legendaries. And then we played for seven hours straight. I was not so lucky. Well, I was lucky, but not as much as my friends. They all had four or five legendaries in seven hours. And I, I had not get another legendaries after my Plasma Blaster until the end of the stream. Seven hours and a half later, I decided it was enough. So I said, okay, last run. And then I got another legendary on my last run. So I got two legendaries in about seven hours. And my friend each got five legendaries, right? So that is crazy good drop rate. And it's a bit too much, maybe. Because what's the point? If you get all the legendaries in the first week of release, uh, what's your motivation to grind after that, right? Some people will agree and some people will not, I know. But <clears throat> it happened the day after. Now it was my turn to get lucky and my friend Corey... We played the bunch, he only got one legendary and I got five. So it, 
it, the lock turns, but still, how is it normal that you get five legendaries in the same day, right? And I remember grinding five weeks to get my Nico Stopper with the previous drop rates. So five weeks of grinding and some people complain they play 200 dungeons, 400 dungeons and no legendary. I mean, it is really rewarding when you finally get a legendary. But when you don't and you keep playing for weeks and weeks and weeks, are you going to stay motivated? It is a tough thing to balance in my opinion. But what exactly happened yesterday? Probably the they checked the analytics and they realized people were getting way too many legendaries in only two days. A lot of people had already all the legendaries. They're not getting new weapons soon. I mean, the next content update, they said they want to do one every, every month. But it's not happening next week. So if you get all the legendaries, what are you going to do? So I want you guys to let me know in the comments what's going on right now. Have you guys got any luck in the past 12 hours or something since yesterday? Uh, I want to know, but everything I see on Discord and Facebook right now is no luck, all blues, one purple here and there. Uh, yesterday at the end of the stream, we did uh, one or two Blade Dancer, all greens. Before I went to bed last night, I did two Voltaic Fist, all greens again. This is crazy, guys. So it's not, it's not, I mean, it's hard to be motivated to grind if you know you're not getting legendaries anymore anymore i mean it's not gonna happen now they need to rework the drop rate i think because if i grind five weeks to get nico before the nerf i don't want to think about how many weeks of grinding you guys need now to get a nico stopper we don't even know where it is anymore because they rotate right so uh other news only confirmation i have guys is uh the og money maker someone in my chat said he got og money maker in silver arena so that would be one of the new legendary locations. Plasma Blaster is in Hive Mind. The Project Ambra is in the Hive Mind also. So that's about it for the update news. Uh, what else? Seems like there's a couple bugs now. Uh, the ribbons bug. Uh, personally, I know the um, emergency shield ribbons not working. I've been using and getting kills with emergency shield, and it's not working. I'm not getting any progress. And some other guys also confirmed that. Uh, I want you guys to let me know how's the uh, wins in Ascendancy working. Because I have, you know the ribbon for getting 10 wins in Ascendancy? I have 0. But I should have some progress. The blue bar is at 0. And last Sunday, I played all day with you guys on stream. The Ascendancy, we got at least 5 or more wins. So I should be close to getting at least one ribbon, but it shows no progress. So next Sunday we'll play. But you guys let me know. Any other ribbons are a bug right now except Emergency Shield and uh, the Ascendancy wins? I mean, is it even bug or is it just me? Uh, that will be it for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, leave me a comment. Let me know any other bugs right now with the new update. Uh, are you seeing anything weird? Any other ribbons or medals are bug right now? I will read all the comments and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye guys.